Hi everyone, my name is Quinn and thank you so much for joining me in this video. So I haven't done a hair tool review video in a really long time and I was on Amazon and I came across uh, this product right here. It's the Conair Quick Twist Hair Braider Tool and it was like 11 or 12 dollars so i thought in this video i would give this a try this video isn't meant to be a super technical video normally i do a lot of research uh, into products i review on this channel but this was something that just seems super gimmicky i watch a couple of videos online of other people reviewing this product and so i kind of get an idea of how it works but i really wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts and opinions on this and just kind of try it out and play around with it i remember seeing products like this on tv commercials growing up in like the 90s early 2000s and i wanted one so badly so this like it twists your hair and uh, you can actually add like ribbons and beads onto it. I never got a chance to try it, so this is kind of me just reliving my childhood dreams. <laughs> Real quick though, if you are new to my channel and you happen to like this video, please consider clicking that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. I normally say that at the end of the video, but I thought I'd give it a try saying at the beginning to see if it makes a difference. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this uh, review and see if this Connor Quick Twist hair tool actually does its job. There were actually a lot of tools like this on Amazon. I decided to go with Conair because that is a more known brand just to make sure the quality is a little bit better. Um, I don't know if that really makes a difference. The other ones are like black and red so they're a little bit more sleek. This one is uh, definitely marketed more towards like kids and teenagers because of just the fun colorful packaging and like the pink um, tool itself. So this kit actually includes 40 anti-slip mini elastics, two silky ribbons, and 10 hair clips in addition to the tool itself. This also has a limited one-year warranty, which is another reason why I decided to go with the Conair as opposed to the other ones. This one was also surprisingly cheaper than the other ones on Amazon. I'm seeing here this does require two AA batteries. I'm going to run downstairs and grab some batteries before I open this. Got the two AA batteries. Um, now let's go ahead and open this. Okay, it comes with instructions, the super cute hair clips. Childhood me would definitely approve this. All right, so let's pull this out. Oh my God, this is so fun. All right, more hair ribbons, hair ties, super, super colorful and super cute. And then the actual tool itself. So it's super simple. It comes with an on off switch these little clips just push up from the bottom and i'm guessing you put your hair through there and then it just twists i'm gonna read the instructions real quick just to make sure that i am doing this correctly I'm not gonna bore you guys so i will be right back okay so i guess the instructions are pretty much on the back here so you're pretty much supposed to lift up these clips put the end of a small section of hair in there do the same thing to the other side and then you're supposed to just turn this on and it twists. I didn't realize that this doesn't have like the twisting motion that the other tools actually have. So I guess that's why this one's a little bit cheaper than the other ones on Amazon because I think the other ones actually like rotate so you don't have to manually twist. This one it looks like you have to like manually twist it which kind of sucks but you know, too late now, I already got it. And I'm trying to put in the battery, but it requires a screwdriver to open it. So now I'm gonna have to hunt down a screwdriver to put in the battery. I found a screwdriver, I inserted the batteries, and it works. Um, so let's give this a try. I'm gonna do like this front strand, and I'm gonna do like a small section, two small sections, about the same size and then clip it in okay so ends are clipped in for the most part and it says to pull it away from your head and then turn it on here it goes Okay, that's pretty tight. And it says to rotate by hand in the direction of the arrow and the styler. So it's pointing this way, so I'm gonna rotate it that way. 
by hand, which I'm not a huge fan of, by the way. Oh, it's kind of tangly. Okay, I'm gonna release it. There's the first twist. Not sure how I'm feeling about this. I'm gonna take one of these elastics and just tie the ends. There we go. There's one strand. I feel like I kind of uh, should have pulled it to the side a little bit because now it's like literally right in front of me. I mean, it's cute. I can see this being really like cute if you have kids and you wanna do their hair um, because it is really hard to kind of get that twisting motion. But I'm just bummed that you have to manually twist it as opposed to other tools I've seen where you can just push a button and it like rotates itself. But maybe it gives you more control. And this one actually would be really cute if I kind of just pinned it back like this. That actually is a really cute look. So anyway, I'm gonna try to do a few more strands. I'm gonna use some accessories. I'm gonna use the ribbons to see if I can add a little bit more flair. So I guess you can attach the ribbon with these clips. So I'm going to try that. <laughs> grab one of the ribbons, grab one of these clips. So I'm gonna take the ribbon and try to get really close to the roots of my hair. And I'm gonna put it underneath a small section of my hair just so I can hide the uh, end of it. And I'm gonna grab this clip and see if I can pin it or like clip it into place. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> I feel like a kid again. This is like pretty fun, but it's long. It's like super long. I guess you can cut it. So I'm going to clip in my hair and then clip in the ribbon and turn it on. Ooh. So I guess if you do have hair, you wanna make sure that, or ribbon, you wanna make sure that it doesn't get tangled up like that. So you're gonna have to cut the ribbon or else it's gonna like, do that, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna redo that. Re redoing, redoing. The only issue I have is my hair is layered. And so like the strands of my hair aren't even. They're not like all down here. And so I wanna clip it up here or else it's gonna be really fray. But I think I'm just gonna have to sacrifice. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it down here. And then I'm gonna clip in the ribbon. I guess I really don't need a clip in a ribbon. So I'm just gonna do that one hair section. And then now I'm going to clip in the ribbon and manually twist it. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, now I'm gonna release my hair and the ribbon and secure it with a hair tie. All right, so there's my second strand with the ribbon. Um, it's kind of a mess up here because I don't know, it's just really hard to do it on yourself. Try another one. That looks pretty tight. And now you twist going the direction that the arrow is pointing. And then release. And this one, I'm gonna try to clip it instead of uh, using a hair tie because a hair tie is kind of hard to get on there. And these clips looks like they actually do a pretty good job. Yeah, I definitely like the clips a lot better. I am gonna try to do some more. Camera cut off. I don't know what you guys were able to see, but I ended up removing this piece with the ribbon in it because it just wasn't looking very good. Here we go. Voila. Oh, that one turned out a lot. I guess I used too large of a section of hair, so the clip didn't hold. Let's try this again. This is so much harder than it looks. I thought I was gonna be like able to do my whole head in like 15 minutes. And now I'm clipping the rip. Ah! I think that one actually worked. All right, and now I'm gonna take the clip and then clip that. And voila, so this one, I kinda got frustrated and um, didn't cut the ribbon. 
So this one's kind of just dangly, just don't mind that. But that is really cute. I actually really like that. And if you have like other ribbons on hand, I bet it'd be really cute to kind of incorporate that into this look as well. I thought that I wouldn't like the manual twisting of this, but it's not bad. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm just gonna hold the clip just in case. So both the ribbon and my section of hair are twisted. Now I'm gonna twist them both together and then add a clip. Okay, so there is that one. The top of it got messed up again. I'm kind of just over it. I'm just gonna keep it like that. I think that actually looks really cute with the doubling up of the ribbon. I think it's a cute gimmicky tool. It's a lot easier if you're able to do this on someone else than yourself. Maybe if I was in front of a mirror, it'd be easier. But right now, all I have is my camera. So it's actually really hard for me to see exactly what I'm doing. But so far, it's like not bad. I actually do think this is really cute. I do think it's like a fun tool, especially for like $12. I don't know how much it is now. I bought it like about a month ago, but I will link it below and I'll link other options uh, below as well that's similar to this, just in case you wanna check them out. For the price, for how gimmicky it is, I think it's like a really fun tool for kids and like teenagers. I definitely think that it makes it a lot faster because if you're twisting hair manually, it takes a lot and like this makes it a little bit easier. It is very sturdy though. It does feel like it's a tool that will last and it's made pretty well. The clips actually hang on to your hair really well. I didn't think that it would. I thought it was gonna slip out um, once things kind of got tight and it didn't. It held on fairly well. I have hair that's kind of on the coarser side um, and thicker. And I don't know how this would be with someone with curly hair or with thinner hair. I can't really answer that. I can only answer for how it's doing on my hair and it twists pretty well. The main point of this is to twist hair and it does just that. It doesn't tangle your hair. It doesn't like destroy your hair. I didn't feel like my hair was caught or like sn like snagged on anything. If you're looking for a fun hair tool for your kid or your teenager, this would be a really fun one to give them. Uh, it's a good gift in my opinion. I probably wouldn't be using this again myself unless I have a fun event to go to. So I think I'm gonna send this to my 10 year old niece in Minnesota. I think she would actually really, really enjoy this and maybe her mom can help do her hair with this also. I think this would be really cute for her hair um, and totally something she would be into. So I guess that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that this is not like a super technical one, a um, little bit on the fun side. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Also, let me know if there are any hair tools out there that you want me to try. And I'll try to see if I can get a couple of them to review on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.